When was the last time you did a check-in of your financial health? In this video, we'll examine things like net worth, budget, debts, income, and your personal financial goals. The idea is to help you get a better understanding of how you're managing your money, figure out if you're on track to achieve your financial goals, and identify areas where you might need to make some changes. By actively assessing your finances, you can identify areas for improvement, make necessary adjustments, and plan your next steps toward achieving financial freedom. Let's examine seven key areas to help you stay on track with your financial goals. Number one, your net worth. One way to get a good picture of where you stand financially is by calculating your net worth. It's like making a balance sheet for your personal finances. You add up everything you own, like savings, investments, and assets, and then subtract what you owe, like debts and loans. Your net worth is a quick view of your overall financial health. If it's negative or low, it might mean you have a lot of debt and financial instability. On the other hand, a higher net worth indicates that you're making smart financial choices and building wealth over time. Don't get too caught up in the exact number. What's more important is ensuring it's increasing over time and having a plan to improve it. Every financial decision you make should consider how it will affect your net worth. For instance, if you're thinking about buying a new car, ask yourself if it's really necessary and if you can afford it without hurting your net worth. Similarly, when you're considering an investment, think about whether it's a wise choice and if it'll help your net worth grow in the long run. View every financial choice as an opportunity to strengthen your financial position. Number two, your budget. Whether or not you've been diligent about following a budget, it's time to take a closer look at your spending habits. Whether you've been using a budgeting app, spreadsheets, or just jotting things down on paper, examine your financial records from the past four to six months. Check to see if you've been sticking to the spending limits you set for yourself. Are there certain areas where you consistently overspend? Can you spot any expenses that could be cut down or eliminated altogether? And are you satisfied with how much you're saving? Make sure your budget aligns with your actual spending patterns and that your financial decisions reflect your values and goals. Sometimes you might need to shift funds around, like increasing your grocery budget while reducing transportation costs. This flexibility is one of the great benefits of tracking your finances. It allows you to take control and make informed choices. If you haven't started budgeting yet, now is a fantastic time to begin. You can use a method like zero-based budgeting, where every dollar has a specific job, or the 50-30-20 budget, where you use percentages for your overall categories. Knowing your net worth gives you the big picture of your finances, while a budget provides the nitty-gritty details of your day-to-day -day financial life. Number three, your emergency fund. Financial experts often recommend having savings equivalent to three to six months worth of your expenses to navigate through tough times. If you've already built up this emergency fund, it's a good idea to review it and see how close you are to that target. But if you haven't started saving for emergencies yet, now is a great time. Consider opening a high yield savings account and contributing regularly, even if it's just a small amount like 50 bucks initially. Set a specific savings goal and identify areas in your budget where you can allocate funds to this account. One smart way to do this is by automating your savings. Set up direct deposits or automatic transfers that funnel money straight into your savings account. By doing this, you remove the need to consciously decide to save each time, making it easier to stay on track. Building an emergency fund may take some time, patience, and commitment, but when unexpected challenges arise, you'll be really glad you took those steps. Number four, your debt balances. It's pretty easy these days to find yourself in debt and getting out of it can be a real challenge, but having high levels of debt can seriously affect your financial health. To get a handle on your current debt situation, take a look at your current debt balances compared to where they were six months ago. Have you managed to bring down your overall debt? Have you taken on any new debts recently? Are you paying more than just the minimum required payments on your debts? And have you thought about negotiating for lower interest rates if possible? One really helpful strategy for tackling your debts is to keep a debt tracker. This could be a simple spreadsheet or even a graph, whether it's on paper, your computer, or on an app. Having a single place to keep track of all your debt balances gives you a clear and up-to-date picture of where you stand. Now, it might seem convenient to stick to making minimum payments and not think too much about the interest you're paying, but that approach can hurt your long-term financial well-being. Make paying off your debts a priority, especially if they're high interest debts, so you don't spend the rest of your life paying others and neglecting your own financial future. Number five, your income. While there are limits to how much you can cut your expenses, the potential for boosting your earnings is pretty much limitless. 
Your ability to increase your income is the foundation of building wealth and enhancing your financial well-being. Most people want to earn more, but not everyone actively takes steps to make it happen. One way is by working toward a promotion and demonstrating your value through exceptional performance at your current job. Another important consideration is your job satisfaction. Take a moment to reflect on how content you are with your current job. Do you feel recognized for your contributions? Are you happy with your current income and see room for growth? If not, it might be worth exploring options to improve your circumstances, whether that involves changing departments, companies, or even considering a new career path. Change can be intimidating, especially if you're in your comfort zone, but if you're striving to achieve your income goals, it's essential to resist settling for the status quo. Trust me, your future self will be grateful that you took those steps. Number six, your retirement accounts. If you have a 401k plan through your employer, it's a smart move to contribute at least enough to get the full company match if available. As you get closer to retirement age, consider increasing your contribution percentage and striving to reach the maximum allowable limit. If you're 50 or older, there's an additional option to make catch-up contributions, allowing you to contribute more to your retirement account. Outside of employer-sponsored accounts, you can open an individual retirement account. Both traditional and Roth IRAs allow annual contributions with catch-up contributions for people age 50 and above. As of 2023, IRA contribution limits are $6,500 or 7,500 bucks with catch-up contributions. If it's been a while since you increased your contribution percentage, or you're not on track to max out your contribution, it's a good idea to review your budget and look for any discretionary income that you can redirect toward your retirement accounts. Maximizing contributions to tax advantage accounts allows your money to benefit from compound interest and gives it plenty of time to grow for your retirement years. Number seven, your personal goals. We all have other important goals like building meaningful relationships or getting healthier. These goals often need money to make them happen. So if you're struggling to achieve the things you've set your heart on, it might be another indication it's time to look at your overall financial health. Sometimes it means making a choice. Do you want instant gratification or do you want long-term financial stability? The key is to identify any habits that might be holding you back and replace them with more helpful ones. It's all about finding that balance between what you want now and what you want in the future. With the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to get caught up and lose sight of what truly matters. If you haven't recently checked in on your financial health, it's time you do so. By taking a little time a few times a year to assess your finances, you can make sure you're staying on track with what's important to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. We'll see you in the next one.